Hey everybody, this is Eriku, and I'm back today with everybody's favorite zombie game. Actually, it was at one time everybody's favorite zombie game that you could get for PlayStation and the Nintendo 64 at the same time. I'm going to go as Leon. I actually recorded a boatload of stuff for this already. If you hadn't guessed. And it was all on that one day and I had to throw it all out. Audio was all messed up. A bizarre on everything. incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T-Virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation in the affair. The case was apparently closed thanks to the efforts of STARS members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. Capcom is pretty good about copyrighting their music too, so this one may take some finagling to get properly uploaded. I'll let it do its little intro. I think Capcom also likes to trademark like their little cutscenes like this. I know Konami does. Maybe Capcom's not as bad about it. I'd hate to have to cut all this out. At least it gives you like a little bit of exposition as to what's going on. Tasty. I just remember back in the day, this was like top-notch video game animation. This was, and especially for the N64, this is on a cartridge. This was like really smooth. They're people shape, so I'll give you a few guesses. No! Don't think that's an appropriate level of aggression response to someone trying to bite you on the boot, shooting them in the head. I mean, if he was a real police officer, he'd probably get reprimanded for that. Assuming not everyone in the city was already dead. Because I get the impression they didn't understand what zombies were, but they they took shooting people in the face real easy. God, the controls on this game are atrocious. I'm remembering that now. Radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah. First day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. I'm wondering Claire if he Redfield. drove all the way from wherever it was he used to live to Raccoon City dressed in that cop's uniform. It looked like that was his first time ever coming into town. And he was already in uniform. You'd think he would like hey. go to his apartment first, move some stuff in. Sure. Then get dressed, then head off to work. Better take it with you. Not just drive straight from like Arizona or wherever he was from, in full uniform, straight to his place of work in his new city. Yeah, look at that beautiful animation. You okay? Still in one piece. Maniac's gonna ram us! Run! 
Didn't they make a Fallout game or a Fallout Tactics game for the N64? I think they did. I know they made one for the original Xbox. Claire! Leon! Yeah, it was, uh, what do you call it? An isometric like, strategy or turn based uh, battle type role playing game. No 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 This guy is a bastard to control. No 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 Get off me, fuck face. I just wanna run past most of these guys. Nope. I got bit like twice. Freeze! What are you doing here? Yeah, this is Hold your fire. still a, a pretty human. good looking game. Considering how old it is, this is. Sorry about that. God, this game's at least. I thought you were one of them. Well, just on the N64, it's What's at least 19 years town? old, I think. Hold on. 18 years I don't old. Have a clue. It's old enough to vote. By the time I think I the original release of wrong, Resident Evil. The entire city was infested with zombies. Was what? What year? Night? Was it? I don't know. Is this damn thing old enough to drink? Wanted the ammo. <laughs> the other ammo. Get off of me, fuck-faced fucks. Who's the next contender? Back up, motherfucker. Get off. See, this is why I hate these pre-rendered... I, it made for a prettier game than they could have made conventionally at the time, because all the backgrounds were pre-rendered. And if they'd made the whole thing out of polygons, this would have been a pretty hideous game. But the camera control is so damn awful. Hope they're all dead. There's more bullets on the rack. I can see them. Which one of these reloads? Ah, one of them reloads. I forget which one. Or you manually reload by going in and combining the bullets with the handgun inside the thing. Turn, damn you, you're turning the wrong way. I'm fine with that.
H and K handgun that he's using in this. In real life, I've held one. They are they're supposed to be one of the best pistols H and K ever made, as far as reliability. They are clunky and heavy as hell. Yeah, it was kind of worth getting this screwed up to pick up a few more handgun rounds. Handgun ammo in this ammo period is actually a pretty short supply most of the game. So if you can pick up some extra ammo, you see ammo. Usually a box of it's worth stopping to get, if you can. on this game are awful. I don't know if I'm going to finish this game. I just wanted to put a little bit of Resident Evil on my channel. Did she just fucking spit acid? She did something to the dumpster. I don't know what the fuck she did. Still twitching. She shouldn't still be twitching. I mean, in theory, if she's a zombie, she's been dead for a while already, right? What I hate is when you nail a bunch of guys like this. And then when you try to walk by them, they're not dead. They bite you on the Manually reload by doing that. These bastards are real good about doing what I was just talking about, where they lay on the ground and then bite you as you go by. One's not dead. At least one of them isn't. Come on, stop when I tell you to stop. bullets there, but I got Okay.
Of course I will. Come on, you silly bastards. In real life, I would be able to see you, but I can't see you. I'm not allowed to look through the eyes of my own character. Playing like this would be like having... No, 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 you fuck face. Fuck. You like having some kind of really weird disability. You can only see things in cubic meters around you. Only when you stand in certain parts of the room. Those f fucks over there are really good at faking being dead, too. I killed all those fucks, but whatever. Okay, when they let those big pools of blood off, they're generally. you go down that stairway and you've completed enough stuff, sometimes there is a guy down there, a zombie, like in an orange hoodie, I think. He'll give you a key if you're killing, but you've got to do like Leon A, Leon B, Claire A, Claire B. know which door isn't locked. Pretty much all of them are. Excuse me. Uh. Oh, man. Who, who are you? Oh, you must be the new guy. Leon. Sorry, but it looks like your party has been cancelled. What happened? About two months ago, there was this incident involving zombies in a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. Chris and the other STARS members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything. And they must be they Jojo. They risked their lives to reveal the truth. But no one believed them. Not long after that, all this 
started to happen. Uh, uh. Hang in there. Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But just go. Okay, Fine. that's reasonable. But I'm coming back for you. Just hold on. I just want to help you and you're sticking a gun in my face. Like I've never been there before. Right. I'm going to try to get him healed up before I save. I know, I've probably missed some stuff here and there. Turn, 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 turn. Terrible, terrible fucking controls. You guys ever get the chance to play this? You've never played one of these before. You guys ever get the chance to play Resident Evil 2? Do it. Just so you can appreciate how good controls are today. This game is worth playing because it is a lot of fun, it's very challenging, it's a really cool game. But the controls on it are atrocious. I'm gonna go try to get him some... Usually a couple cans of medical spray down through this door over this way. I might be wrong. I might be thinking of somewhere else. I'm thinking that just through this door there's a trunk and it's got Yeah. Okay, let's use. Okay. Take it. Four, five, four, two. Alright, now I'm gonna go save. I'm not gonna go much further in this. If you guys liked, let me know. If you guys want to see more Resident Evil, let me know. I still need to get the parts and do the repair on my N64 controller. You can get a it's a specially modified joystick from a GameCube controller that you can drop into an N64 controller and make their control sticks as reliable as the GameCube. I need to get myself one of those and then I'll actually record myself dropping it into one so you guys can see how to do it. N64 games are awesome, but the controllers wear out so easy. Alright, I got a... Yeah, I'll overwrite that. That was the end of the last guy that I started so you guys could see. But anyway, if you guys liked, let me know. Hit the like button. You guys want to see more Resident Evil 2? Let me know. I don't know how much of this I'm going to do. Probably just a little bit. But once you really get back into the groove of the game, you get used to controlling it again, and you were ever good at it. It's not so bad, but this game can be a real challenge, even on easy, just because of the control. And how it always picks your sight, your view. I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.